guys. So today I decided to do the 25 facts about me video so you can get to know me a little bit better. Excuse my crazy makeup look. I was filming a makeup tutorial before this so if you want to get to see how to get this look you can check my channel back on Monday. should be up on Monday. I'm trying to upload all my makeup tutorials on Mondays. So let's start. First fact, my first degree was in photography and fine art and then my second one was in makeup. I have not touched a camera in the sense of taking professional pictures by myself since I, I hate the sun. I, I try to avoid the sun like it's my religion. I cannot stand it, it just bothers me, it annoys me. And the worst part is, I live in Cyprus, which is an island that we have sun almost 10 months out of the year. So that's how I know I, I live in the wrong place. on the couch. I didn't live at home for a while. I lived with someone. And after I moved back home, I cannot sleep in any of the beds. I have two bedrooms that I use but I don't sleep in any of the beds. It's been seven months now, I think, and I still sleep on the couch. Yeah, I'm weird. I'm a very, very messy person. Not dirty, messy. And I always know where my stuff is, even if it's a mess. Always. Maybe not always, but most of the time, I know where my stuff is. If someone tries to tidy it up, then that's it. I never know where my stuff is. I have a good memory, so I remember where I throw my stuff. Even a month later. I love gray weather and the rain. Again, that is another annoying thing for living in this country. I live in the wrong place. I really should move to London because, let's face it, I love rain. I hate the sun. That's where I should be. London. Great I'm weather. Terrified. Terrified of driving. I cannot drive. I well, I got my license recently, which is a lot of years late than what people normally drive. About nine years. I've been lucky, I've had people driving me. I have my license, but still I won't touch the car unless there's someone sitting in there with me. And when I'm driving, I get panic attacks sometimes or I get dizzy, I get frustrated and I just hate it completely. Like it's the worst thing you can do to me is tell me to drive. I look much, much younger than my age. Well. Not now, but usually when I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm wearing my sweatpants or casual clothes and I just walk around the city to do chores and stuff, I look much younger than my actual age, which is a good thing, but sometimes it's annoying because people look down on me or they baby talk me. Like they would be like, oh my God, you're so cute. How old are you? Even people who are younger than me would talk to me in that way. And it's so frustrating. Like we went somewhere with my mom and she was like, oh my God, this woman came up to me and she was like, oh my God, you're so cute. You're so adorable. How old are you? When I told my age, I, I was already so pissed off. I just left and she apologized to my mom. She was like, oh my God, I thought she was 14. My mom was like, no. When I was studying, I first started studying in London and I changed three three universities. So each year of uni, I was in a different university. The last uni I went to was Wolverhampton. And the guy who was in charge of the um, art school, he called me into his office before giving me an offer and a place at the university. And he said, will you promise? Because I did four years, I didn't do three. Um, because I kind of changed. It, it's a whole other story, but anyway, for him, in order to let me stay in the university and give me a place, he made me promise that I wouldn't change for the next year and I would stay and do my two last years at Wolverine. I have a younger brother and no one thinks we're related. He took uh, out of the 
Greek side of the family, the Cypriot side of the family, and I got lucky and got um, from the Russian part and from my mother's side of the family, my grandma was blonde with blue eyes. So I was lucky I got the light colors and I don't look. When I was younger, I was convinced I was adopted and I was Princess Anastasia. Yeah, even though she lived many, many, many years before me, probably, I, I, I cannot calculate right now, but maybe a hundred years before me, I was still convinced I was her. And that probably my family was uh, keeping me safe and, the, and I was adopted. Yeah, I was a weird child with a very active imagination. Um, when I was in high school, I used to get bullied a lot and at some point people stopped bullying me and started being scared of me. I went through a phase, like a, a goth punk phase where I was always dressed in black, a little bit like I am today. And in Cyprus, the, the society is very closed, so people thought I worshiped Satan. Yeah, that, that was fun times, fun times. They used to um, tell guys, don't go anywhere near that girl. She'll put a spell on you, she'll curse you. It was funny but annoying sometimes because people actually attacked me sometimes. My was... biggest celebrity crush was Benji Madden from Good Charlotte. Like I was madly in love with him for years and years, I think eight years. And after I met him once in a club in LA, I was a little bit disappointed and that was the end of my crush. I used to be so camera shy. I went to my first photo shoot drunk. I had alcohol in a water bottle and I was drinking. I was actually shaking. And now I am a model. I do a lot of shoots, I do TV commercials, which is... I could not have imagined that that day when I went to my first photo shoot that I would be doing this job now, today. Because again, I was, I was shaking I still love like Barbie and Sailor Moon. Like, I love it. I still collect Barbie dolls and Sailor Moon stuff and I don't care how old I am. And I will probably never ever I am old. currently studying Japanese. I go to classes every Saturday morning with my friend Maria. It's lots of fun. I, I'm writing my diary in Japanese. It, it, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense most of the time, but hey, my teacher laughs when he reads it, so there you go. I currently have five closets of clothes, but when it comes to getting dressed to go somewhere, I never, ever, ever have clothes to wear. Ever. Never. And I have, I have one closet that is just dedicated to cosplay. And still, when it's carnival time or Halloween time, I never have enough. And I always buy a new costume. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these costumes one day, but for now, it's fun I have to collect. Three cats, two black ones, and what white one with uh, brown spots. One is called Luna from Sailor Moon. The other one is Jinx. And the other one, because she's so mean, I've had her for eight years now and she still has no name. Because she's a, she was horrible to me. So I was like, you know what? My you first language is Greek and not English. As you probably can tell from my accent, it's not perfect. <laughs> When I go out in Cyprus, because I don't look Cypriot at all, people think I'm foreign. So I always take advantage of that and I always make up stories and I pretend I'm not from here, I'm a tourist uh, or I'm here for just a few days. So it's a lot of fun. Like one day there was this guy, he was trying to flirt with me and he, he was horrible. And I just said, my name is Stella and I'm from Belgium and I'm a Japanese teacher. Funny story, I don't know, and he believed it, so My whatever. bedroom, which is not the bedroom you see me filming in, this is my mom's old bedroom that I use for, for filming. My bedroom is another bedroom. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> my oh, bedroom speak. looks like the bedroom of a five-year-old. If you go in my bedroom, you will be shocked. You will never imagine a grown-ass woman has that room. It's full of Barbie dolls and ponies and cutesy little things. Even this room, I've already converted it. Like there's a pony over there, so, there's cupcakes everywhere. So this everywhere. day and age, I'm still waiting for my letter from Hogwarts. And I know it will come one day. One day. It's just my owl got Once lost. I went to the pharmacy to get prenatal vitamins because I heard they were very good for the skin and the hair. And I went in with my sweatpants. And the lady at the counter probably thought I was 15. And she stared at me with this look of compassion and she was like, poor girl, such a young girl. And she's pregnant so early in the struggles of life. And I was like, I'm not 15. I'm much, much older than that. And also, I'm not pregnant. I just want strong hair in my skin. I'm a pure, pure Disney girl at heart. I, I'm still waiting for Prince Charming. So, Prince Charming, if you're listening to me, if you're watching this right now, I'm waiting for you to bring me my glass slipper. Actually, I have my glass slipper, so you just need to put it on and my foot, And the weirdest okay? thing about me is, there's this certain set of forks at home that I refused since I was very, very young to use to eat. Till this day, I don't use that certain set of forks. If my mom brings me that set of forks to use to eat, I will not eat until she replaces it. Or if I replace it by myself. But if she does that and she brings me a fork, I'll be like, excuse me. Again, you brought me the wrong fork. I know it's weird and maybe it's... Let's just face it, it's just weird. So, these are 25 random facts about me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and got to know me a little bit better. Don't forget to subscribe and share if you're a new viewer. And for the people who watch my videos, thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.